as a as a believer, we must first understand what the kingdom is, but we don't begin to understand what the kingdom is till we find out who the king is, right. uh, which is Christ, Christ. we know so. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Listen, I am honored to be in the house. The heirs are in the building. Y'all know who it is. It's your boy Moon, AKA Moon Report, Marcus Mooney. Y'all know me, you know me, you know me, but I got my boy with me. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. Professor Q. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, my boy Quavis, Thurman in the building. And we got two special guests, man. Very, very special guest starting it off, kicking it off with us. I say special guest, but really, honestly, man, if I be real, real honest, they actually family. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? They, yeah. they actually family. So I'm saying that, but what's really happening is we got our family in here. Our, our very own pastor, uh, Ricky McClooney, man, this dude right here, this is the shepherd of, of, of our church. You know what I'm saying? The angel of the house, as they say. But man, he is a brother figure, a father figure uh, to many, 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 many. So I know he's going to drop some good wisdom. And we hope to see more and more of him. I uh, know a busy man, but you know, I got to put that out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then right there beside my partner, Quavis, that's my dog right there. Mm -hmm. Reverend Wolf, Dr. Wolf. Yeah, in the building. Home. We call him, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is in the building. He is with us, man. And we are going to dive into this thing. So listen, y'all already know how we get down. Um, you know, we, we straight talk right here but we do these things from a kingdom perspective there's a lot of voices out here in the world but there's only one that really really matters and that's the voice from above the one that's responsible for it all the image giver because we are the bearers of that image our lord and savior the most high god so brother quavis man give us a breakdown real quick and then get us kicked off as far as what we're getting into today all right first of all welcome everybody how it's our like he said it's our first First episode, man, I'm excited. I think I got a little more energy than last time we did the promo. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm ready today. So our topic today, man, is the we're talking about the kingdom. What is the kingdom? And then what is a man's role in the kingdom? Mm -hmm. So throughout this podcast, each episode, you're probably going to hear that word kingdom dropped a lot. We're going to, we always going to discuss the kingdom, kingdom agenda. So we're going to get into the questions. We will make sure everybody clear about the topic, the subject matter. Like I said, you're going to hear the word kingdom a whole lot. So and with that being said, you know, we, we ready to get into the questions? Yes, sir. Let's okay. go. Let's rock. So, all right. We're going to just throw it out. Whichever one of y'all want to answer first. Uh, first question. Uh, what exactly is the kingdom or the kingdom of God? As you know, the Bible, it'll say the kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven. Um mm -hmm. Well, it's a two-part question. We go, y'all can go ahead and answer that first. Which, whichever one of y'all want to take the floor. What what exactly is the kingdom? I'll let you go ahead or Okay, well, uh, you know, real talk then since Pastor gonna let me go first. I'm gonna <laughs> let him go first since he's younger than me. I'm the oldest. <laughs> but um I believe the kingdom is what just like what the Bible says, the the kingdom or the kingdom of God, also known as the kingdom of heaven in Christ, is a spiritual realm. Or which God reigns as a king, and uh, or the fulfillment of earth of God's will. Uh, looking at scripture, when you talk about the kingdom, he is it's it's, it's forty six or more different scriptures say what the kingdom is. Uh, but our familiar one, we lose Matthew seven says, "Say seek ye first the kingdom." Mm -hmm. As a believer, we understand what that means that we're going to seek God above everything, and then it says, "All things should be added to you." Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all things should be added. So we must, un as a as a believer, we must first understand what the kingdom is. But we don't begin to understand what the kingdom is till we find out who the king is, right. uh, which is Christ. Facts. We know so. Uh, that's that's my little take. I let Pastor May want to elaborate on it a little more, but yeah. yeah well, uh, Minister, you're right. Uh, when I think of the kingdom and what the kingdom is, it's God's rule. Right. Okay, uh, even when we talk about the kingdom in the church, mm -hmm. if we're looking at 
how the church is and how the church should be, it should be is that we, the church, are being ruled mm -hmm. by the King of Kings and yes. the Lord of Lords. Yes, sir. Yeah, like yes, right? sir. Yes, and sir. so the kingdom is the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, but it's ruled by God mm -hmm. on the earth right. if those who are in the kingdom allows him to rule. Amen. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, and I yeah. think that's important. Like, like you said, those in the kingdom allowing him to rule. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, I hear a lot of brothers reference things and, and you know, they, they say different things about, you know, about being godly and things of that nature. But, you know, my first question to myself was, am I really allowing God to rule? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and then it, it came back around when God had to show me myself and say, are you really allowing me to rule? Right, you know, right, right. because if you're not, then you're not mine. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference between us being a creation and then us being a child of God. Mm -hmm. right. You know, yeah. say you still you, you kind of in the middle. You see, you know what I say about that. I spew you out of my mouth. I need you to pick a side, you know, mm -hmm. right. and let me right. all the way in to rulership. So I think that's that's so important mm -hmm. uh, for brothers and sisters to understand that he's got to be ruler mm -hmm. over your life. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm gonna jump in here and say I, I want to piggyback on what he said about you know the spiritual realm. It's a spiritual rule. It's a spiritual kingdom. So therefore, you know those who are in the kingdom, they have to be born again of the Holy Spirit. You know, it's not just that um, we born and then like a lot of people think that everybody's just a child of God. Mm -hmm. well, we know that's not true. That's not what the Bible say. Right. So you have to be born into this mm -hmm. and then you get the benefits of the kingdom and the rule of God. And like you were saying, like y'all were saying, you allow him to rule your life as mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit um, matures you and as you submit yeah, to the right. Holy Spirit. Facts. Right. Yeah. Facts. Uh, well, I, I, I like to ask the question, well, why do people say that so much? And that is, we all are God's children, you know, and, uh, but as you said, scripture does not support that. Mm -hmm. uh, scripture supports that we are all God's creation, mm -hmm. right? but now we can become his children. Facts. Right? Be prior to us not knowing him as Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. we are his creation, mm -hmm. but he's not our Lord. That's right. 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 That's right. right. Okay. Right. That's right. And yeah. so scripture says we must be born again. Mm -hmm. And then when we become born again, then we come into the kingdom right. to be ruled by the king. Right. It's it's so funny. You said that and broke it down like that, Pastor, because we had a discussion in Millennial Bible study one time. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the fellas was saying, well, you know, if if I had a son, you know, mm -hmm. and even though I, I might not be you know, he, he might not be in my life or whatever. He's still my son, right. you know, so so he's still my child. Mm -hmm. And say, well, yeah, you know, from from a, on a surface level, from a worldly standpoint, that makes all the sense in the world. But when you break things down spiritually, mm -hmm. honestly, he is your creation. Right. But if you're not fathering oh, him, right. yes, sir. you know what I'm saying? Then is he really your yes, son? Because yep. someone else could come into the picture father and him. father him. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then he sees that as his father. Mm -hmm. And then you see characteristics that even though it's some of you sprinkled in there because DNA, mm -hmm. you see him acting more like his father that's that right. raised him. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And so that's why the, the Bible makes a clear distinction between God being our father or your father, the, the devil, devil. Right. Yes. because you're going to have characteristics of whoever's raising you. Right. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Exactly. You, know, yeah. you know, and yeah. I think we really got to get a, a grasp on that and kind of understand that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. Love yes, that sir. point. I want to go back to something else you said, too, about uh, Christ being Lord. Because, mm -hmm. I, you know, we grow up, well, people grow up in church. I didn't grow up in church. But people in church, and they'll, you know, I want to give uh, honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But mm -hmm. a lot of them haven't even made him Lord, you know, because we right. have to actually submit to make him Lord. Facts. He's, he's Savior, yes. but he can be Savior without being Lord if facts. you don't allow him to be. So I, I like that point you made about that. Mm -hmm. Big facts, big facts. And uh, that's the mm -hmm. thing about God to being who he is, which is everything, mm -hmm. uh, he still allows us to allow him to be Lord. Right. 
Right. Mm. Yes. Okay. He he's not a God that's gonna override your will. Facts. And that's one thing we have to understand. When you come into the kingdom, it is more or less as the model prayer. It's not the Lord's prayer. It's the model prayer. Right. Yeah. And when we pray, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy, thy name, kingdom. Thy kingdom come. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And so what we're saying, we are submitting our wills to his will yes. because he's king. He's the ruler. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about the kingdom, since we're talking about the kingdom, <laughs> that thought just came to my mind about uh, God and his order. Oh, man. Oh, man. God's <laughs> order says oh, stuff like this is that Jesus is the one that I gave all authority. Yes, sir. He gave no other human being that authority. Right. And that's why Jesus says stuff like this is that he has given me authority mm -hmm. over all. Mm -hmm. And now, and I know that we have to address not only the, the, the kingdom, but how the kingdom looks at the church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes. so if the kingdom, what it looks like or should look like in the church is a church that follows the authority of Christ. Yes, sir. First and foremost. Yes, sir. First and foremost. Right. Yes, sir. Okay, again, it's all about submitting to your life to the king. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And the kingdom. And so this is why we now as believers must make sure that our will is being submitted to the king. Yes, sir. Who is our great example, who, has, who God gave all authority, Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus being our great example, he said it in the garden, not my will, but your will be done. Why? Because he's the king of the kingdom. Yes, and he's given the authority to him to save, look at this, the kingdom. That's good. That's good. Right that that, 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 that yeah. preaches. That's yeah. right. Pastor Ricky kind of jumped ahead. So, we're, my man, we you good? Yeah. No, no, you good. We, <laughs> we, we want to let the people. We want to do, we wanna let everybody know the the, the question. Okay, it was a, it was a two part question. Okay. So, but he he just answered some of it. So, but um, the the next part was to elaborate on what it should, what the kingdom should look like within the church, mm -hmm. and then also to the world. So. Again, he went on and he went ahead. Clarified and, yeah, he clarified it for us. <laughs> but, you know, I just wanted everybody to know the, the question. Okay. Yeah. 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 If, if I want to jump in on yeah, that, he can. Jump in. Y'all jump in. All the thing I can say to that is he, he, he hit it right on the nose. Yes, uh, sir. By us ruling the way we should act, that should determine what the world should see us as because we are being, we are being faithfully watched. You yes. Know? Um, yes, sir. So it's it's very important that we do what we say we are. We say who we serve. We say who rules over us. Now we should let that rule show on the outside that uh, the people outside the world, because we in the world now, but we not of the world any longer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So um, mm -hmm. that that that's all I could add to You're that. You're speaking something right there, brother. You're yeah. speaking yeah. something yeah. in the world, that, but not yeah, of we, it. We in it, but we ain't of it. That's right. We right. was in it once, yes, but sir. now we are in the kingdom. Yes, sir. We have uh -huh. a rule over us now. Yes, sir. We no longer rule ourselves. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, we don't own ourselves no more. We was bought with a price because mm -hmm. of Jesus. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my we, grandfather got a saying. He, he say, make sure you check your oil. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. make sure you know where you're at at all times, right. what's going right. on. And, right. and I think that's particularly important when it comes to the kingdom of God. You know, like mm -hmm. you say you, you're in the world, but not of it. But if it's some residue on you, you know, right. you might want to check your oil, make sure. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and it's, like, right. it's like your car, checking your oil. It's, it's it, your body, your temple of God is, needs maintenance. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not checking that oil with that word, which is that oil, that's yes, sir. That mm -hmm. SW twenty or SW thirty <laughs> or that whatever that castor oil twenty or that synthetic full right. oil. If you if you ain't putting the right oil in your system, it's gonna break down. Right. right. So right. Uh, right. just like the word of God, if you're not putting that that kingdom word in you, you're gonna break down. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna use my body as an instance. I go get a maintenance every year on yes, my sir. body. Yes, sir. Tell them people where they say, what are you doing? I say, I do it just like my cars. I like to ride in a good car knowing it's going to get me there. So I like to make that's, sure that's my right. body yeah. is in right. good shape. That's right. So it can get me from point A to point B. Look, yeah. here's the crazy <laughs> thing right here. On, here's the crazy thing. When you get to a point to where you riding dirty for so long, yeah. your car thinks nothing else because it adjusts <laughs> yeah, yeah. to right. the dirt. Yeah, it's right, the huh? same way with how we are in the natural. Right. We think yeah. that we okay because we functioning. 
You know mm. what I'm saying? But we don't realize that we are headed towards a massive breakdown. Right, right. If right. we don't correct and, and correctly run the way we're supposed to, why well, we got to keep right. that oil right. chain spiritually so that we run the right way. Right. You know, That's otherwise right. we just doing things and everything just going in together. And we're like, oh man, but I'm good. Right. right. But are you though? Right, right. right. You know? and, and here's what I, I've learned and what I'm learning. I remember there was a point when I would say I wouldn't, I don't care what people think, but now I do. Yeah, I realize yeah. I yeah. should care yes, sir. what yes, people sir. think about because now if I say I am under the rule of the kingdom, then I should watch what I do because people are going to, so I got to make, I got to make sure, mm -hmm. I got to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do because yeah, I understand it different now because yes, now I have a, a different outlook on life because now I'm under the rule of God. Now. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Somebody who changed me that like Pastor said, ain't hey you like me now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, so <laughs> so yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, people still call me by my nickname, but I know that's not me right. anymore. Right. So it really don't bother me. Mm -hmm. But, you know, because some will say, I don't know if I call you or they call me Mr. Wolf or Dr. Wolf or whatever. Yeah. That's fine. I don't have a problem. But I know I ain't the wolf that I used to be. <laughs> and <laughs> sheep clothing, you know what I mean? Right, uh, right. And that's from growing under the, under the authority of the good teaching of pastor yes, and, and, and studying the word. The Bible says, study the word, show yourself proven to God. A word need not be ashamed. Rightly divided word, too. Yes, sir. So now I got to I got to check my oil, as yes, you sir. say. Yes, sir. I got to yes, make sir. sure my oil is good. Yes, sir. And how do I do that? I have to get into the word. That's right. Uh, That's right. Understand Pastor, this. what you got on that, man? I know you got uh, some. Well, uh, listening, you guys put it in the analogy of um, checking your oil. When you are in the kingdom, then you feel or sense the Spirit of God letting you know that there is times of refreshing. Mm -hmm. uh, time to, just like, you know, they put the little sticker on your car when you get your oil changed right, here. Yeah. And so many miles, you need to change it again. Got to come so back. Your maintenance light come yeah, on. Your a maintenance rich. light come <laughs> on. <laughs> well, I, would, I would rather go with the maintenance light yeah. uh, because yeah. that's that in, uh, the detecting yes. Yes. the inner. That's right. Yeah. Okay, now we could have that, that agenda up on our windshield, but if the inner is sensing something, then we need to listen to that. Same way in the kingdom, the Holy Spirit. Again, we are submitting our will under that rule. That's right. Okay, That's right. and so that rule lets us know that we are living in the flesh, but we don't operate by the flesh, okay? okay? okay. So it, it's under this kingdom again that we are submitting to as men and women of God is that we are submitting to the rule of, of Christ in our lives. So often we will find moments in our life where we don't continue to ride dirty. Mm, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like okay? that. Yeah, some, that. Some people want to just ride dirty. Yes. Yes. But yes. when you under the kingdom rule, Yes. I, I don't know. This is a little thought that came to my mind. I was telling Trey one day, I, I said, Trey, you drive my car. I said, I need you to take this money and go and clean this car up. Mm -hmm. It ain't that bad. I said, the problem is your daddy don't roll dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so when you riding around the car, they see my car. Right. They think they, it's you. They think it's me. Yeah. That's right. And, 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 and you, you just riding around dirty and people ain't saying, well, Trey didn't clean up the car. They look at Pastor Ricky car ain't clean because yeah. it's my car because you ain't bought nothing, okay? <laughs> but at the end of the day, uh, again, we should be magnifying or glorifying God yes. how we live our life. Right. Again, I think you said a question was how should the kingdom look to the world? Mm -hmm. We should look like Christ. That's it. Yes. That's, yes. It. That's so it. So we can't continue to ride dirty right. in our lives. That's why we don't Talk like we used to talk. Right, right, right. That's why we don't do the things like grandma's. I don't go to places I, I used, used to, to go. go. Yes, Amen. Yes, uh, now you're getting super religious. No, that's kingdom. That's right. That's right. Okay. If you see me there, guess what? I got kingdom business there. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I, now I ain't, I ain't no, taking oh, the no, podcast no, no, in the no, wrong no, way, no, no, but no, I'm, no, feeling, right. I'm feeling, I'm right. feeling that that push right about the fact that when we are kingdom minded, mm -hmm. we do kingdom, kingdom things. Business. That's right. right. And That's right. so again, if I'm there at the place, I'm probably there 
to do kingdom business. That's right. Somebody, the Holy Spirit done led me to somebody mm -hmm. to speak to. That's where I think Minister Kevin said a while ago is that we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Facts. Okay. Facts. So with me being in the world and under the rule of the kingdom, mm -hmm. you're going to find me doing kingdom stuff. Yeah, that's right. Maybe in dark places. Yeah. Hey, huh? Talk about okay. it. Yes, sir. Talk about it. Talk because about we, it. We, we go to uh, confine them. We go to uh, uh, convince them mm -hmm. of this king and his kingdom, right. mm -hmm. which will change anybody's life yes, right. sir. Mm -hmm. if they accept him as Lord. Yes, sir. So yeah. that's what the church, or I think that's you said a question, like. it yeah. should look yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. It should look like. That's what the kingdom and, and, look and, like. That's, yeah. and then the church. Yes, sir. Okay, let's, let's, yeah, within the church. Within, within the, church, the church. It should be the, the kingdom. kingdom. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Well, right. It, it's a poor man that won't, you know, talk about his own pun. Let's change the church. Okay. I, I say it all the time. This is what the kingdom looks like. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. As we have done it to the least of them, we've done it unto him. Right. That's why we're working church. That's why we won't just be a church that just shouts on Sunday. Right. Kingdom says that we got to take the kingdom mm -hmm. to the lost. Right. So that's what the, if that's a question now, y'all yeah, said, yeah, yeah, said a yeah, question yeah, a while ago, and I just, don't good. know if we answered it, but Man. the Holy Spirit is, <laughs> listen, go ahead. Listen, I love it because you said, you, you said so much, but. Taking the kingdom to the world. To yeah, the world. So when we show up in a dark place, mm -hmm. we don't get overwhelmed by the shadow. Right. We show up with the standard. We show up with the light. Right. With right. the light. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to draw you. How can I draw you if I become you? Sometimes I think we that. take stuff out of context and say, you know, well, you, you got to be, uh, when in Rome, do it wrong. <laughs> right. and all that stuff. Yeah. You, know, you know, they mix all that in with scripture and try to mm -hmm. make it seem like that's what the Bible is saying. Like, no, there is a standard that's that's that a we standard. are called to live by a because we're not standard. a yeah. higher standard and yeah. we're not representing ourselves anymore. Okay, uh -huh. we're representing the highest About of high standards. standards. Yes. That's so, right. so I always have to check myself, and and it goes both ways. It's not just in making sure that everybody is is you know understand God and live and right and all that stuff, but it's also making sure that I love enough. Yes, sir. Because it's a balance in there. Because sometimes yeah. you can get so heady on trying right. to make sure that that people are living right that you forget that sometimes you're struggling, mm -hmm. trying to get to there. Uh -huh. So it becomes a balance of the two things. Mm -hmm. And then that's when you really see kingdom and church working the way it's supposed to work. Because mm -hmm. people aren't getting beat down, but you're not just letting anything go either. Yes, sir. Exact yes. accountability. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, and, sir. Uh, I like the. Uh, the way past always close when he say uh whatever your hands touch yes, bless yes. whatever your feet try you dominate, dominate take, take over, over. Mm -hmm. to me every time he say that that's kingdom that's right wherever mm -hmm. i go mm -hmm. i'm trying to go take over for god so mm -hmm. if i go to my job i'm trying to take over for god they mm -hmm. need to see christ-like behavior mm -hmm. if i go to the football game they need to see christ-like behavior if i go step into the schools and then go eat lunch with the kids they need to see Christ like that. That's right. They need to see kingdom right. men showing that's up right. and doing, mm -hmm. offering them something that's not the world. That's right. right. Bernie Mac, you say, who you with? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's right. Who you with? And I think about, too, uh, uh, how um, when we go out, mm -hmm. just, you know, our mindsets, what, what are we focused on? Yes, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. Like the pastor said, kingdom business. That's kingdom right. agenda. That's right. We mm -hmm. have to be. We have to be intentional about it. Intentional. Intentional. That's a beautiful word. Yes, sir. Intentional uh, for the kingdom. For the kingdom, yes, Okay. Especially when you're ruled by the king. Mm -hmm. Okay. If that king came and got you, but then he wants to use you to go get somebody else, there again, to me, it's kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we can't afford to be churchified and not kingdom. That's right. Because churchified would just tell us to show up on Sunday. Right. Mm. Yes, sir. And then if we're kingdom, yes, <laughs> we'll do like uh, Brother Quavis, Dr. Quavis said, <laughs> and that is, is that we will always be showing Christ-like behavior. Yes, sir. Okay? We respond with Christ-like behavior. Right. That's right. But what if they talking bad about you? We respond with Christ-like behavior. What if they line on you? We respond because we kingdom and we are kingdom-minded and we ruled by the king. Guess what? When they're talking negative about us because we're kingdom, we give glory to God 
by our kingdom response. That's right. That's so good. That's so good. So God. even when it's hard, still got to be kingdom. We still yeah, got to be kingdom. And, and you know what, man? What I see a lot too with with a, with a lot of brothers that mean well, you know, and I and I feel that they do mean well. I feel like the intentional part, and then a, another word comes into play: insertion. Mm. I think sometimes the the meaning is to be intentional mm -hmm. about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But what happens is we begin to insert ourselves. Yo, that's good. Yeah. You know that's what I'm good. saying? Yeah. When mm -hmm. really we should be intentionally showing people the father. Right. right. Because uh -huh. that's who it's all about. That's what it's all about. Right. You know, but if you're not careful, you will be giving people your version of the father, mm -hmm. which in a, in a way, you know, you, you kind of think about, well, that's right, ain't it? Uh, <laughs> not necessarily, mm -hmm. you know, because I can give you my version of the father, but yeah. he's working so on me. Right. So you're going to miss some stuff. Okay. But what I'm what I'm held to is a standard that say, listen, I'm he's still working on me in these areas. I'm trying to understand these things. But this is what I know for sure. Mm -hmm. What's in this word? You right. know, this is what I know for sure. Right. So I may feel a certain way about things. You see, that's mm -hmm. why we can't try to connect with people based on our feelings right. about everything yes, either. Right. The standard is the word because the word is going to stand beyond how you feel today, tomorrow, <laughs> next week. That's you know, right. you might be for abortion today, next week, you're not right. for it. You yeah. know how yeah. people right. are. Yeah. You know how it goes. Right. But if we're not inserting our, our feelings and emotions and our personal perspective on everything, we're saying, wait a minute, let me gauge that. Mm -hmm. And make sure that it's the kingdom that's mm -hmm. coming out of my mouth first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And then if I'm not clear, let me go to God and that's let me right. go to those that he's put in my life to help mm -hmm. me to understand things, to make sure mm -hmm. that I'm understanding kingdom right, right before I go trying to sell people on whatever it is that I feel like I'm, I'm seeing or feeling about a certain thing. Because mm -hmm. it's a lot, once again, it's a lot of voices out there. Oh, yeah. A lot, a of, lot voices. of voices. Yeah, a lot of voices. It's a lot of voices out there. But I like what you're saying, too, about the kingdom. And that is that those who are in the kingdom, everybody has not possessed uh, perfection. Yes, sir. Okay, so we are all striving. That's right. Okay, so uh, can I say this in this manner, is that being in the kingdom I'm learning every day. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. There's some things that I used to think that the word say that I have now been given revelation through by the Holy Spirit or Holy Spirit using someone else to teach me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from the word. Matter of fact, it's a whole lot of things that we have heard in, in life and we just assumed it was the word. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And we actually have lived by that understanding. Yes. But then when you read the word for yourself, you, you gain revelation, yes. which brings down transformation. That's why we don't need to be afraid in the kingdom to say stuff like this. At one time, I viewed it that way. Mm -hmm. But now, Holy Spirit, which says, I lead you and guide you into all truth. Yes, sir. I, I have I, I've grown from that. Yes, sir. OK. Yes, sir. But then people are like, well, you, you're contradict. No, we grow in God. That's right. right. That's right. right. In information and revelation, mm -hmm. because we are under the rule of the king. My mama said like this, if you really want to be right, he won't allow you to be wrong. Long. That's good. That's good. That's good. good. And that humility <laughs> is, is what I look for. Yeah, because when you stand on something and you so stubborn standing on it that you you say, look, I don't care what you come with. This is what I know, and that's it. Oh, yeah. Okay, to a certain degree, I like the fact that you're making a stance for what you believe in. Mm -hmm. But you always have to be in a posture of learning. Oh, yeah. Always. Because God is forever teaching. Yes, he is. So if, if you're not at least open to hear something, right. you mm -hmm. know, then I, I always question the motive. Like, where is it truly coming from? Mm -hmm. You know, because if you're trying to protect your own word or your own reputation, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then sometimes, yeah, we can get in our own way. Mm -hmm. But if we're truly putting God on the forefront, then we are constantly crucifying this flesh. Yes. Yes, so it's a daily walk with him to say, hey, man, at the end of the day, his will be done. Yes. So if I'm out here and I done got so far, I'm in the mud now. <laughs> you <laughs> say, I can acknowledge the fact that, hey, I might be in the mud. And then I can even say, hey, I once was in the mud when right. it comes to yes. these things or whatever. Right. I <laughs> once was riding dirty. My oil wasn't right, you know. <laughs> but but thanks be to God. Glory be to God, the most high that he, he helped me to see myself so that I could come out. 
That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. What else you got for us, uh, right, professor? So we, we uh, yeah, we we done took a little time on that question. Yeah, yeah. We gonna, we gonna get rolling yeah, to the did, next one. Uh, so, and your pastor already kind of touched on this one too, eh? The Holy, the Holy Spirit, ain't it? No. He, uh, <laughs> he was talking about being, you know, churchified mm-hmm. versus the kingdom. So, the the next question is, it kind of leading to the same thing: the kingdom and the church. So. Yeah. A lot of people grow up, like I said earlier, grow up in church. They mm-hmm. know church. Mm-hmm. They know what a local church is. But, like, what is the actual relationship of church and kingdom? Which, you know, mm-hmm. you kind of touched on it. But yeah. just, if mm-hmm. you want to go Maybe ahead. So, and, so yeah. let me first understand. We got to first understand what, what, what the difference is or how you. Uh, the kingdom is, is, is a place of peace, love, justice, and where God will is done and 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 his glory is revealed. So now we understand that. So when we come to the church, it should be like the kingdom. Mm-hmm. This should mm-hmm. be the same place where love, peace, God rules, God's will is done, mm-hmm. and he is revealed. Amen. Uh, mm-hmm. That's where we connect those two together. So mm-hmm. we got to first understand the difference and then what it is and then bring it together because your church should be just like the kingdom. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. A place of peace, just that should be. There should there should not be any mouths of envy in the church, but we know that <laughs> there should not be right. because this ain't a place for that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's we right. come to worship Him in spirit and truth, and then we leave here to serve Him. Mm-hmm. So this should be this to me when I come. This is a place of a peace, just because after all the hell I done went through mm-hmm. during the week, and I couldn't. This when I come here on. Not just on this day, but this is a place. It's a rescue place. It's a mm-hmm. rescue mission to me because mm-hmm. uh, I know there's peace, there's love, there's kindness because mm-hmm. somebody else gonna feel the same way. Do they need that peace, that kind? This is the place where we receive it. That's good. And mm-hmm. um, and then that's it. Should looks like that's what this place should look like, mm-hmm. uh, like heaven. Yeah, yeah, so, I like that. I like that too, man. I like that too. So, man. Pastor, you got anything on that one? <laughs> well, I was just trying to uh, let you guys speak on it because I really <laughs> love that. Uh, but as Minister Kevin said, when he comes here, mm-hmm. there has to be like-minded people mm-hmm. who honor God enough to be kingdom. Mm. Yes, sir. That's mm. good. Because if, 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 if he's not ruling in an individual, mm-hmm. then they're open to their own flesh. Mm-hmm. And, and look at this. Just because we came to the church don't mean the devil didn't show up. That's right. right. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. right. He might have beat you there. He <laughs> might have yeah, yeah, yeah. been, <laughs> <might've> been <laughs> waiting. I got a seat for you right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, sit beside right. me. Yeah. I got Come some on. stuff I want you yeah. to do. Yeah. Yeah. And so when we're not kingdom minded, yeah. when these individuals as Christian believers, mm-hmm. when we are not submitted to his rule, Mm-hmm. What we are left with is our own understanding, especially when our emotions and everything is affected. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. They may not sing the song that you wanted. So yeah. you feel like you got the right to sit in church yeah. and be angry yeah. and be upset with somebody not being kingdom at all. Right. Mm-hmm. And right. I think church should look like this, too. A place to recharge the recharge. kingdom mind. Yes, right. sir. Yes, uh, sir. That, Amen. as Minister Wolf said, when we leave here, we go be kingdom. Yes, yes sir. Uh, yes, sir. You shouldn't deplete me in the church. Yes. Right. I, I come to get filled more to be a kingdom-minded servant. Yes, that's good. But then when you come to a church that's not kingdom-minded, Minded. what we get is emotionalism. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we go back out and be motionlessness. We, we not affecting, as you were saying a while ago, we, we need to be the light. Mm-hmm. Right. Bible speaks of it like this, being such a light that we cannot be hidden. Mm. Yes, huh? A light sitting on a hill that cannot be, and it's bringing light to dark situations. Even if they don't like it, it's still light. It's still light. It's still huh? light. That's crazy. Man. When, you, when that light come on, you t- if you got some cockroaches, in there, they don't like it. They might run and scramble, but it's light. It's, still light. it's, still it's light. light. It's still and still that's light. what the kingdom ought to do at all times: bring light. Yes, sir. 
like, as the church. Man, mm-hmm. listen, I tell you this quick story, man. <laughs> I, I used to work on the roof later now. I wasn't up that long. I wasn't up that long. But uh <laughs> you quit. I, yeah, nah, look, nah, no, I found something else. I got you. <laughs> look, my daddy, my daddy let me quit, but I found something I else. You. I <laughs> got make sure you find something else before you quit. Right, right. 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 But I, I was born, man, and um, you know, doing what I had to do. And I, you know, as I came on, I was like, I'm I'm new to this, I'm really young, you know. I said, man, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut, you know what I mean? Come in, do what I gotta do. And, you know, and then that'd be that, keep my head down, you know, cause it was a lot of old schoolers up there that knew the game or whatever. So I was <laughs> like, man, let me just come up here, you know, learn what I need to learn. So I came through the door, man, my first day, just just with that mindset. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking, that, that sort of thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, sitting there and I was talking to the receptionist because she went to Family Christian Center at the time, church we were right. going to together. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, her and I were talking and uh, and a brother came up and he knew, Mr. Gilmore, man, I, you know, i never forget you, bro. He came up, he said, uh, hey brother, come here, man. I'm looking, I'm like, oh Lord, you know what he about to say, you know, he about to give me a hard time already. He, I came over close to him. He said, you in the kingdom, ain't you? I, just, I was astonished. I didn't know what to say because I was like, he just looking at me. Like, I ain't do nothing. Yeah. You know? He said, let me tell you something. He said, it's all over. He said, make sure you keep that. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You know, but it, yeah. it, what it did was it set me up because it was a fool on that roof. Let me tell you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The boys was crazy up there. Okay. <laughs> but okay. it set me up because it's like, hey, that's, that is who I am. Right. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. so that's who I got to be. Yeah, we know right, we laugh, right. we joke, we talk. But when, what comes out of me, got to be kingdom. Right. Like e- even though you, you're going to face fools? <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Yes, and, and again, Holy Spirit knows how to look at this, remind us yes, sir. of our kingdom business. That's good. Even though, again, we go around people that would press us, try us, all that kind of stuff. I thank God I've had had some moments, personal experiences, where God, as his rule in my life, already let me know in advance hmm. with a reminder that I am kingdom. That's good. I like that. Yes, sir. And man, when I got in the situation, the kingdom was so much on my mind is that my normal response would have been, especially when you're David. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say it like that? Say it like yeah. that, bro. Say it like David, that. David couldn't, couldn't be in the temple because David had so much bloodshed. Mm -hmm. In other words, he was a trained warrior. Okay? I kind of like David. When you're a fighter, you don't put up with too much. But when you become kingdom, kingdom says you're still a fighter, but you fight a different fight. Mm -hmm. I like that. So about like you said, he says, keep that. Keep that. Yes, sir. Because you're about to go against some fools up here. (laughs) You know, (laughs) if you don't remind yourself... (laughs) That, that that it's, it's not about you as much as it's about the kingdom. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Then you'll find yourself flying off the handle just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. And kingdom is not just like everybody, everybody else. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it, go ahead, bro. Oh, it kind of goes uh, tied to, you know, the sermon today about mm-hmm. bringing the thoughts in captive. Of, yes, sir. Subdue. Right. Subdue. 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 That's Subdue. right. You know, you gotta, we got to subdue our thoughts and not allow that. And like he reminded you. You kingdom. That's right. Like he he like you. I know what you about yeah, to go yeah. face. Right. You right. need to know what you about to go face. You need to know what you about to go face. You, 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 you stay kingdom. <laughs> keep that's your right. eyes straight on the, you know what I'm saying? Don't yeah, on the look right. to the left and the right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's <laughs> good, bro. Right. All right, so y'all, we, we getting a little thin on time, but I wanted to throw this out there to the group. This, this is different than uh, what Dr. Q got for us, Professor Q got for us, mm-hmm. um, as far as our notes. Um, but just touching on some some relevant things that's that's happening or that ha- has happened here recently. Um, and I think it's perfect that we're talking about kingdom, the kingdom response. But the Montgomery brawl, everybody mm. familiar with, you know, yeah. with that, that situation that took place, <laughs> uh, you know, and what, what I've seen as far as the temperature of the room, as far as, you know, society and, and people's, you know, comments is that it, it has sparked some division. Right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Amongst people. Um, but we all know that 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 division is definitely not kingdom. You yes. know, so I guess if I had to throw a quick question out there to you guys, 
well, you know, how do we look at that from a kingdom perspective as far as, you know, dealing with it and then going forward, how do we correct situations like that and others that speak to our people as a whole, mm -hmm. but speak outside of kingdom? How do we attack that to bring it back into perspective? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I want to say, first of all, um, the enemy tries to set his kingdom up mm -hmm. just like God. All right. Yeah. Counter right. Okay. Yeah. It's a counterfeit. Yeah. All right. And so he'll use anything he can mm -hmm. to spark or ignite yeah. so that okay. which is evil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my understanding of that situation was a, a security guard was pretty much saying, you can't park your boat here. Uh, other, there's another boat coming in. You got to move. All right. And for whatever reason, these happen to be Caucasian people mm -hmm. who is in disagreement with that. Right. Mm -hmm. Happened to be a black guy trying to enforce the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay in his legal rights to do, right. okay? All right. That didn't take place like he went out to, to do, all right. right? Mind you, the enemy is looking at this as an opportunity. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, okay? sir. For his kingdom. For his kingdom uh, to Mission. arise, if you will. Mm -hmm. And what he, what he done is turn that situation to the magnitude that it has gotten. And he's using that momentum in a negative way, mm -hmm. okay? Some folks say, we just playing with it, you know? Because some stuff is funny, man. Yeah, I done seen, yeah, I seen, it's hilarious, you know, I seen one guy done in his bathtubes practicing <laughs> to swim <laughs> to the situation, you know? Uh, we see people yeah. running around here now with a, a chair strapped to their side. <laughs> but what we don't see is the, the, let's say, the sneakiness of Satan, yeah, the underlying, okay? The underlying situations yeah. that he's trying to arouse uh, from, from racism and all of these other things. Mm -hmm. right. So when we are kingdom-minded, we can laugh at some things that had taken place, but we must be mindful and prayerful yes, sir. Yes, about sir. how yeah. the enemy is trying to erect and establish something. Mm -hmm. That would even could cause a civil war, if you yes, will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It can okay. Get that heavy. Yes, so, sir. so what looks small and and insignificant can actually be a, a big situation. So, kingdom, what we need to do is be prayerful, mm -hmm. yeah. ask God to heal, because some folk are so offended and have nothing to do with it. Right. Okay. And they are taking it to the extreme. Yes. And so, what we now as Christian voices in the land, we ought to still speak truth to light mm -hmm. and speak peace mm -hmm. and let them know, listen, that could have been a black man's boat who was unwilling to move his boat. Mm -hmm. And they had a little situation and we would not even have this response. Well, see, right. people so, act like yeah. if that was a black man, and he tried to attack the black security guard, that the situation wouldn't have been the same thing as far as the security guard's response. Mm -hmm. Like, do you, do you think just because the guy that was coming after him was white, that he wouldn't do the same thing to try and defend himself? Exactly. He's going to do the same exact thing, regardless of the color or nationality of the person. Mm -hmm. The situation caused him to react the way he should have regardless of how we feel like he may should have not reacted. I've mm -hmm. heard some people say that, you know, maybe the training should have been better to, to de-escalate instead yeah. of, you know, mm -hmm. escalate the situation. But either way it goes, what was in him is in him. Regardless of who's coming at him, his response would have been the same. And, and, and that's possible. But again, even with his response, you have to see the enemy's work. That's right. Okay. Okay. One, everything now is about going to get caught on the phone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But then the effects of that is what the enemy tries to push. Mm -hmm. Now you have, with all the dividing that we have in this country already, mm -hmm. something as simple as this can just break out and be crazy for the whole entire world. Right. But then there's the believer. Brothers like us sitting here, you know, what it made me do, what would I have done in that situation? 
Uh, maybe if someone had attacked me when I'm trying to just do my job, I may have protected myself. I can be honestly, I believe all you got. Yeah. I'm going to try to protect yeah. myself. Yeah. You're not just going to let anybody uh, jump. Yeah, yeah, not going to let. But now if you put me behind the microphone and, and ask me for my take, I'm probably going to try to destroy the kingdom of darkness. Yeah. And say, you know, this was a situation that went wrong, but we it just don't need to be about a racist sparking yeah. in our world again. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I still to... love other people. Mm -hmm. I still, I understand this, even with the love that I have in my heart, because I'm kingdom, I have to love people that's unlovable. That's right. Yeah. That's okay, right. again, back to the response as a kingdom citizen. Mm -hmm. Okay, I protected myself, but I have said this in times past, you know, I'll beat you up and pray for your healing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, uh, but at the end of the day, you, we have to understand is that the enemy wants to bring more out of this than, than what should have ever that's, that's been right. in, out of this situation. Right. Okay. So to me, that should be the church's response. Mm -hmm. We ought to still love our brothers. Uh, that one situation does not uh, speak for the whole world, right. even though that's what the enemy is trying to put out there. Right. Right. Well, my thing, I think, um, you know, I, I don't like the fact when people like trying to jump on sides, like kind of what you're saying, yeah. like, oh, it's a racial thing. So mm -hmm. I'm with the black people. Mm -hmm. I'm kingdom first. You know, and I'm looking at righteousness first. first. That's I'm right. not looking at color. Yes, sir. Because the kingdom transcends color. It transcends right, right. everything. That's matter of fact, that's what's so wonderful about it. Yes, right. Everybody yeah. is welcome. That's Everybody right. is welcome. Right. right. So I'm not going to look at color and say, oh, well, yeah. Uh, he busted in the head because, you know, it's a black man. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, I don't, right. I don't, that, that, that's the thing that bothered me about the yeah. whole thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the people pulling on sides, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's more, that's more condom, carnal minded Condom people, yeah. mm -hmm. which is not kingdom either. Yeah, no. no okay. Not, no. And so when you become kingdom, you become more mature. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then you start making, look at this, uh, intentional examination of the situation you know there was a, so go ahead, go ahead yeah. and so that's what i'm saying yeah what you're doing now is because of the maturity of a kingdom follower mm -hmm. you say you know what just because they're black i can't just go with that mm -hmm. i need to make sure i understand what is really taking place right. yes there okay? you go that's why i was gonna go go ahead you know there, there was a situation that came up and um and you know uh, one of one of the children involved came up to me and they, they was like, you know, telling me the situation. And they said that one of the parents wanted to go and respond by cursing out the person that was supposed to be in the wrong. Mm. And they looked at me like, why aren't you as wired and fired up as them? Mm -hmm. You know, and I said, I don't know what's going on. Exactly. How can I run into a situation? Well, you know, we said that I said, yeah, but you are telling me your perspective. I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Now on the surface, I do feel like something wrong has taken place, mm -hmm. but I need to get more clarity before I just jump in here going to war, you know, right, and, right. and coming off all, you know, you know, overbearing. And, and then you're talking about as far as putting hands on people, cursing people out and all mm -hmm. that stuff. You know, we're talking about a situation where the, the, the person in, in the situation was a student. They felt like they were wrong mm -hmm. by a person who was in authority. I said, well, we can deal with it. But there's a certain way that yeah. we need to go about, it, you uh -huh. know, I said, now I could run in there just like that other person <laughs> cussing and fussing. I said, but I would rather go in with this. Let me understand why the person did what they, what did. they did. Right. There's there's an explanation behind everything yeah. that we do, mm -hmm. even if you just say a person crazy. OK, that explains it, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's but that's something, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And so so, you know, so so then I, I you know, when I went into the situation, I made sure that I kept the student close to me mm -hmm. because I thought about the kingdom. I mm -hmm. said, OK, this is an opportunity for them to see something different mm -hmm. because what they were used to. Right. was that response. And mm -hmm. and to them, that was showing power and authority. Mm -hmm. So, no, there's an authority that's so strong that you ain't even got to get your hands dirty. You actually <laughs> told me that. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Unnecessary battle. Sometimes yeah, you can exactly. have sweatless victories, I yeah. think was yes. the name of the message. Mm -hmm. You know, so when I went in, that was my mindset was to say, okay, how can we get to the bottom of this thing, deal with the enemy, and then come out of it without it being something more than what it had to be. Exactly.
And when you're kingdom and you're doing that, kingdom puts you in a position to teach the rule of God in the situation. That's beautiful. I love that. That's beautiful. Because yeah. see, you got to understand this. The enemy has a kingdom. Yeah. And sometimes those people that are in the room, they just want to see how they can push your buttons. Mm. But then when you stand in that authority that says, my authority says this, meekness under control. Mm -hmm. I will sit here and dialogue or communicate with you till we can understand what has taken place, that we can all make a conscious decision about the situation. Man, that's so good. <laughs> my wife had me laughing because after that, anytime I came to the school, the per the person that in you know in the situation, they would go the other way. Yeah. And my mm -hmm. wife was like, and he won't even face you now. I say, you know why? I say, because when I came in, I didn't come in getting in the person's face and cussing and all stuff. I said, I held him accountable mm -hmm. for what he said. That's it. Because That's it. I asked him, I said, well, why did this take place? And then I listened to every word that he said. Mm -hmm. I let him say all that he was going to say. And then I took all that he said and I brought it right back to the table <laughs> to him. I said, mm -hmm. okay, now, if this is what we're talking about, then you're telling me that this is the way things should be done. Why aren't you doing them that way? I just held them accountable. I say, now when he see me, he see accountability. <laughs> yeah, he might, yeah, a lot of people don't want to face they accountability. They don't want to yeah. face accountability. And I, I like that, uh, the whole, you know, that situation you just explained made me think about what Jesus said in John 7, 24, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, he say, don't judge by appearance, but mm -hmm. you judge with a righteous judgment. That's good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we got to, we had, like you said, you didn't jump in there just because they said, come on, let's go do this. You took the time to step back and say, oh, okay, let me think about this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cliche, what would Jesus do? Yeah, right, what would right, Jesus do? Right. And, you know, you judge with a righteous judgment. So when you went in there and he saw that kingdom and he saw that, you know, that you, your Christ-like behavior, now it's, it's like the Holy Spirit convict, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Holy Spirit doing mm -hmm. his work now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's up to him to respond to it now. Yeah, that's right. right. Facts. That's right. Facts. Facts. Uh, Facts. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, hey. oh, you got something? Oh. <laughs> nah, I was just going to say, man, I'm just going to, I'm taking it in, man, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Real talk, right? Real talk. I'm just going to say it's accountability, you know, since we're on the kingdom, your accountability is more different than your accountability was as you was a man in the world. If you even oh, had it. Uh, if oh, you even had it. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. people, they look at your accountability more different now because you say you are of the kingdom. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So they don't take your accountability. They they trash it different. Uh, he ain't what he said. So mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. that's why it goes back to what I was saying about I care about what people say yes, yeah. because now my accountability, I understand now my accountability because now that accountability trickles down to your ge genealogy, your family, yes, your, sir. your mm -hmm. children, children, your wife, your kids, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the church, yes, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. your pastor. <laughs> and, oh, he just like his pastor. I, well, yeah. when they say I was just like, I want to be that accountable pastor, that man of God that I'm supposed to be. I yes, don't want to be. Like some, you know, no disrespect to some past, but some of them are just different. Yes, sir. You know, <laughs> and so yes, uh, like when we like the night we went to the 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 thing when they honored our pastor, and I was I was very proud when when the man said, "I don't normally do this to pastor. I don't know the honor because they ain't right. He's yeah. just being real." Yeah. yeah. And he said, "But this man, this man of God, I'm he was right, and that made me feel wonderful because I knew I was under great leadership through." Man, to follow God's heart like David followed after God's own heart and the accountability he has for God that he has for us, which means a lot to me. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that that word accountability you know, in the kingdom means so much more now than it did before. Like you said, if, if it didn't mean anything, because when I was in the world, I wasn't accountable. <laughs> accountability didn't mean nothing to me. Right. I did everything I was being bad do but now that that's different yes, sir, yes, sir. i have to i have to think i have mm -hmm. to study be slow to speak slow to wrath i just can't fly off 
like I used to, you know, because right. so, yeah, I'm accountable right. now. Right. I, I was about to say, uh, uh, <laughs> some some of them, you can't call them pastors because they behave, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if they yeah. were the other time, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Accountability. Yeah. Yeah. Keep real, real, that's right. real, you know, Keep real, real, and just that, real talk. That, in the way the world look at, you yeah. know, like you said, the guy said, I, I don't do this because they ain't right. You know what I'm saying? But he looked at the, he looked at the perception. He looked at the kingdom. Yeah. That was showing, yeah, he showing kingdom. So he sees people sees the kingdom in you and even the people in the world they will honor you that's right that's because right. they see that you are the difference maker in this world that's right uh that's you right. are showing them this is what the kingdom is like the kingdom says that i do this for the kingdom i go here i give this i give that it's not about me it's about the kingdom they say the oh kingdom. that's how the that's how it goes the room right yeah. I never seen it run right. off a clean oil before. <laughs> right, I ain't right. know it could run like right. that. That's what real fun, uh, full synthetic oil looks like. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's, it, you can go ten thousand miles without getting it changed because it's the right oil for the right car. Oh, that's right. The engine solid. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. I I like to say this from the the leader uh, perspective too so. is that when your kingdom, even in leadership. You are willing to be held accountable. Right. Yeah. Oh man. Ooh, you we, see? And and so we ain't got time past the week. Oh, my man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Go ahead. Good, go ahead. man. Go ahead. I'm kidding. But but I'm serious. That's probably been a, one of the greatest things in in my life as a as a leader, as a pastor, is that I literally ask people to hold me accountable. Yeah. I'm serious. Uh because man. Like my pastor says, if you the only one know, then you stealing. <laughs> I like yeah. that. Okay. That's good right there. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> so to me, even in leadership, yeah. and in you kingdom minded, you have to allow yourself to be held accountable. Right. That's okay. Good. If you're not accountable to anybody, mm. man, that. That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. Yeah, scary. scary. You just left to you. <laughs> and you know you better than anybody else. Yeah, that ain't yeah. always good. No man right, should be an right. island. No man should be an island. And that's why I'm saying uh, to Minister Kevin, said some very nice things about me just now. But I'm sitting here, you know, looking at you guys and saying this. I don't believe it's nothing I can't bring to you guys if it's a struggle for me. Mm -hmm. Right. Even as the leader, mm -hmm. I've seen it with my own eyes. I heard it with my own ears. Yeah, and right. that's why there's nothing that he can't say to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even mm -hmm. if I don't like it, even if I don't agree with it, I hear it and respect it because mm -hmm. he's done the same thing with me over the years. And that's a big reason why he's been in my life for so many years. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Since I was a teenager, because from the moment that I met him, I saw a level of accountability I had never seen. You know, I had people that wanted to keep tabs on me, if you will, mm -hmm. you know, make sure that I was doing most of the time what they wanted me to do. Just mm -hmm. be honest about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But to have a person that say, uh, you got to be who you say you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> that's a different level. That's king. It, it is. It is. That's, you know that's, that's king. I mean, that's that higher standard. That's, mm -hmm. it. I that's, mean, king, that's what man. it is. What you say? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. That, that goes to the question we didn't even get to, which <laughs> the unity uh, and the fellows. Yeah. That brings about all. But like you just said, he, the accountability and the, that he showed you, and like we're doing here and we do every Sunday with the men, but when pastors bring us together, we're showing the the young brothers how to be men. That's right. That we stand together, we're gonna take care of our wives, we're gonna take care of our children. We got to be we got to be united. United we stand divided, we fall. I'm a military man, so I know that was a model in the military. We stand together or we fall separately. Yeah. And so yeah. that that brings about that question we didn't get to. So with all that you were talking That's to. Good. So That's good. Uh, yes yeah. sir. Yes you sir. Know. Good stuff. But man, listen, we're gonna touch on fatherhood uh next next show. So, you know, I, I want everybody to uh to tune in definitely, man. Keep keep us in prayer. Um also, but real quick before we go, final thoughts. Um uh, let's let's swing it around the room. Um I'm gonna let Pastor go last because I just feel like uh, you know, he gonna sum it up in such a way. Right. We the mic drop, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So uh so let let's start on you, you wanna go first, uh, uh Professor Q. I go first. All right, uh, go ahead, knock it knock it down for us. Well, uh man, I mean, I really enjoyed this. This was mm -hmm. I it was 
I was a little nervous, but it's I, oh man, you know, I couldn't tell it you. Jump, you know jump right in there. Yeah. Oh, um, the conversations were I, they was real good. Um, topics we got into some stuff that we wasn't even really <laughs> yeah. planning on going, yeah. but I mean it went it, great. It went you know great. What I'm yeah. So I just appreciate y'all for being here. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to the wives for letting everybody be here. <laughs> <laughs> Accountability. <laughs> yeah. Accountability. My wife know where I'm at. <laughs> we I definitely got to have y'all two back on here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, well, we do because we didn't even finish these questions. Yeah, but yeah, but, but yeah. we want y'all back anyway. Yeah. So, oh, right, uh, yeah. 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 What you got I mean, for us? I mean, thanks for having me. I, would, I didn't know what to expect, you know. Uh, that's why I said real talk. Let's yeah. just mm-hmm. be real. Let's talk. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I wouldn't really prepare it, but I figure I'll just pray and let God won't let him do his mm-hmm. thing. I mean, it's awesome. I never, never, ever thought about ever being in podcast, but this is something good. It's a mm-hmm. good thing. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. You can find out good information. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. It's yes, past say for your transformation. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. It's good information. It's good real talk that we can, um, uh, the, more, the more we talk about it and understand what that kingdom is and mm-hmm. who we are, who we belong to, it makes a difference. Yes, sir. Amen. It helps yes, sir. one another out to 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 the reality of life. Yes, sir. Yeah. There is a reality. There's there's a difference. There's a heaven and there's a hell. Until you come to the grips of the reality, which one you gonna serve? You, the Bible says you can't serve two masters. So yes, uh, yes, sir. Um, yeah, good talk, man. I like that. I enjoy that. Looking forward to the next session. Amen. Well, again, I want to thank you guys for allowing uh, us to come today. Um, I think. Uh, what you're doing is kingdom. Uh, we're not that that old church to say, this ain't God to use these cameras and things. No, <laughs> I believe if Paul would have had a phone to text, he wouldn't have never got on the boat <laughs> to go over yonder <laughs> to the other side do this in the text. And so and the oldest thing said back in the day, in they hymn songs, they said to serve this present age. Thank you guys for your creativity. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, doing what you're doing, that we can get this message across to somebody that probably wouldn't have heard it no other way. And so I'm grateful yeah. to who God has allowed me to be around. And can I even say this? To cover. Yes, sir. I don't take that lightly at all. We appreciate it. Yes, and, sir. And man, I, all respect to you guys. I love yeah. you guys. That's what kingdom is. Yeah. Is that we love. We celebrate each other's callings and giftings because mm-hmm. he has room for us. Yes, sir. Don't have to be jealous of you. You don't have to be jealous of me. And we operate in what God has given us. Yeah. And then when we bring it all together, look like today. Yes, sir. Look what has taken place. I came in here sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, two of I just got just got energized just by yeah. just conversating with my brothers. Yes, sir. And that's yes, why sir. I want to say thank you guys so much. Yes, sir. It's enough bread for everybody to get a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Yes, yes, make that sandwich. Yes, make this, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, man, y'all know this is your boy Moon. That's my boy Professor Q right there. And until next time, man, hey, listen, once again, we talk about fatherhood. So join the conversation. Peace. Peace. Peace.